Okay, so this is going to be a reading for Pisces dealing with Leo. All right, Pisces dealing with Leo. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces, the ones who are dealing with the Leo. All right. So we're going to be pulling four cards from the Rebel deck, and then we'll do... Then we will be doing four cards from the Hidden Truth Oracles for those of you guys who are in no contact. All right, keep in mind that these messages can be vice versa. Take what fits, leave the rest. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that hurt us. So it is. All right, Holy Spirit, let's get four cards, please, for the Pisces. The ones dealing with a Leo. So we have, you got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside of you, listen to that shit. It's called your intuition. All right. So shit is going down with your job. Uh, Reevaluate, change your, change your perspective or fucking quit. So keep in mind these messages could be for you. They could be for Leo. Take what fits. Leave the rest. All right. Two more. Two more, please. All right. Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. So somebody here may be trying to force something. Spirit is saying allow that shit to come to you. All right. Let's get one more. One more, please. Thank you. Stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. So somebody may need to hear that message. Somebody here may be complaining about what they don't have, how things are going. You have you have um, the power to change that shit. Uh, some shit may be going down with somebody's job. Somebody needs to change their perspective or fucking quit. That little voice inside of you, listen to it. All right, so let's get four cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle. What are the hidden messages, please, between Pisces and Leo? Sorry, guys, I feel like I'm getting a head cold. So bear with me. All right, hidden messages between Pisces and Leo. I regret lying to you. So somebody here regrets lying to you. either regret lying to Leo or Leo regrets lying to you. Let's see. More messages, please. Between Pisces and Leo. <clears throat> Pisces and Leo. I want to feel that way again. So either you want to feel that way again or you want to, or Leo wants to feel that way again. Somebody here, it seems like somebody's missing the other one. All right. Two more, please. Messages between Pisces and Leo. I'm starting to understand our connection. So either you're starting to understand the connection or Leo's starting to understand the connection. All right. One more. Uh, I feel you leaving me behind. So either you feel Leo leaving you behind or Leo feels you leaving them behind. Bottom of the deck, I wonder if you are happy without me. All right. So let's jump on over to the tarot. And see what's popping between Pisces and Leo. All right. Holy Spirit, first card out is going to be for Pisces overall energy. Keep in mind these energies can be reversed. I will read Pisces on this side, Leo on this side. However, the roles can be reversed. Take what side fits. Leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's just not your story this time. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, when you guys do comment, it helps me pick up on your energies for further readings. So keep that in mind. I will be doing these readings next week. However, I will only be doing six signs. So whoever has the most views by Sunday evening, um, I will repost an updated version of this reading. Okay? So let's see. Pisces. Pisces overall energy. Pisces overall energy. Pisces. Page of Wands. So you may be having some type of spark, uh, you know, some sense of optimism in life. 
Let's see, Pisces overall energy, please. Pisces. Overall energy for Pisces. Two of Cups. Damn, you may be in a relationship, okay? Um, falling in love, the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and the endings, the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts, don't give up on the people that you love. So in your overall energy, two of cups, this is, you know, surrounding a relationship, a lot of love, a soulmate connection. You may be having a rekindling, a resurgence here of a, of a past relationship, or this could be a new, new relationship. Forgiveness is here with the ending of challenges. All right. Not giving up on the people that you love. Show me Leo's overall energy. <coughs> Nine of Swords, so sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, um, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. So Leo may be having sleepless nights. They may be up in their head, maybe surrounding a relationship, wondering if you're happy without them. Okay? If you guys are separated. Show me Pisces emotions, please. What's in Pisces emotions? Damn, the Empress. Show me Leo's emotions. So in your emotions, we have Taurus Libra energy. You could be a mother, a baby's mother. You could be pregnant. Uh, you could be happily married, happily in a relationship. With this Empress here, you're very abundant. In your emotions, I feel like you're very... Um, this is all four queens in one. So you're confident, you're loving, you're nurturing, you're kind, you're intelligent, you're intellectual... Um, uh, attractive. Okay. You're, you're financially abundant time to take action, give birth to your dreams, creative projects will be very successful abundance and prosperity. Okay. So you have some type of abundance, prosperity in your life. I feel like you're doing really well. You're very happy. All right. Show me Leo's emotions, please. Show me Leo's emotions. Nine of wands. Oh, Five of Swords and the High Priestess underneath. Somebody here may be jealous of you, um, you know, secretly trying to, like, play mind games, trying to get over on you, trying to win at all costs, because that is Piscean energy. That's a side note for some of you, not for all of you. In Leo's emotions, we get the Knight of Wands. Everybody knows this is the player card. This is rushing in for a quick time, a good time, not a long time. Someone who thinks on impulse. Um... Moves with great speed, very passionate individual. So this person and their emotions, I feel like they're um, lusting possibly over you. Or this person is, you know, in their emotions, it's like they want to rush in and, excuse my vulgar language, dick you down, put it on you, whatever the fuck they want to do. Somebody here wants to rush in and and do the damn thing. They're worried about if you're happy without them. So this person is like still thinking from a very low vibrational mentality. And I hate to say that, and I'm not putting anybody down or anything, but that's what I'm seeing here. Passionate, confident, charismatic, restless events that, um, events requiring immediate action, trust your instincts, stay focused in a passionate relationship. So this person may be all about the passion with this wondering if you're happy without them. And you looking like you're over here, you know, doing well for yourself. This person may just want to rush in and, and see if they can still, you know, get some or whatever the fuck. All right. Whatever. Because they feel you leaving them behind. They want to feel that way again. They want to feel that again. <laughs> okay. Moving on. Pisces. Next move. Show me Pisces. Next move, please. Pisces. Next move. Show me Pisces next move. You're not moving or what, Pisces? Because uh... Pisces next move, Knight of Cups. So romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, the lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, the love of art and poetry. So you could be rushing towards a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio 
Taurus, Libra, or whatever. Somebody may be rushing towards you, wanting to sweep you off your feet, romanticize you, date you, fun, flirting. This is also an apology or an express, expression of emotion. So if this is your next move, you may be rushing towards somebody, having some type of... And then take them away. Yeah, so somebody here may be like rushing in. There may be like... some date or something that you go on that just like I don't want to say unexpected but unexpected but kind of like sweeps you off your feet like something that's like very loving a fun date or something going on okay I feel like you're very you're in a very romantic loving energy here with this empress two of cups knight of cups show me leo's next move please Two cards, I'm not taking them. Five of Swords coming right back out, y'all. This person is gossiping, playing mind games. An unwise choice. There is a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So this could be also this Leo maybe trying to get away from people who have questionable motives or who lack integrity because the Knight of Wands is moving away from the Five of Swords, technically. Or this is the Leo playing mind games with you. They're up in their head. They want to rush in passionately. And like I was saying in the beginning, this could be somebody who's still thinking in a low vibrational. Fives is a low vibrational energy. All right, this is somebody who... You know, they'll come in, say whatever. They'll gossip about you. They'll talk about you. They may even talk about how you do them. Ooh, wow. That came out, didn't it? They, they may rush in about, you know, like, oh, let me tell all my boys how I hit it and quit it type energy. Like, this is somebody who's fucking childish, all right? Sorry. Or this person is trying to get away from people who are childish. Take it as it resonates, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. Show me Pisces intentions here. You want to drop this burden. I feel like you're in the process of doing it. Ten of Wands coming out sideways. Working too hard or too many hours. The need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. But it's in almost in the reverse, okay? So Ten of Wands in the reverse would be like dropping these burdens. Dropping these uh, burdens. Everything that's weighing you down that you're carrying in this basket. That's stressing you out. Dropping that shit, all right? Like dropping that shit off at your grandma's house. <laughs> no, don't drop it off at your grandma's house. Drop it off at their grandma's house. <laughs> Take your shit back. All right. Uh, anyways. My castle crumbled overnight. I brought a knife to a gunfight. He took the crown, but it's all right. Yeah, that's my song. Shit got me goosebumps. All the liars are calling me one. I'm doing better than I ever was. Mm -hmm. I'm the one he's walking to. Damn, this song resonates. I'm the one he's walking to. With the king, with the knight of cups. Yeah. Loves me like I'm brand new. All right, Leo, call it what you want to. Okay, so six of cups. Somebody here is up in their head about some type of past situation, some type of cycle closing out with you, Pisces, Queen of Cups. Show me Leo's intentions, please. Single cards. Call it what you want. Yeah, call it what you want to. Check that song out by Taylor Swift. It may mean, may resonate with you. All right, call it what you want. Ten of cups, page of want, or... Ace of Wands, or maybe a passionate new start with the, some type of family dynamic. Um, hmm. Show me Leo's intentions. I feel like this Leo has a lot of air and fire in the chart. I don't know. Leo's intentions. Six of Swords. They want to move something into calmer waters. The end of challenging times. Things are looking up. A welcoming relief. Finding your way to a peaceful place. The end of depression or an illness. Travel or relocation. 
really was. So this Leo may be, um, you know, intending to move away. Oh. Not because he owns me, but because he really knows me. Which is more than they can say. Uh. Mm. All right. So this person may be trying to move away from deceptive people. But they're definitely worried up in their head. Buns! Hey! This person may be thinking about travel, relate, relocating, going somewhere, you know, moving away to calmer waters. May even be with a family. They may be taking their family. I don't know. All right. Show me the outcome between Pisces and Leo. Honey! Pisces dealing with Leo, please. The star. Damn. So there is going to be healing. There is hope here. Have faith. The future is bright. Dreams do come true. Positive changes that bring an end of challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. So again, there is going to be healing. There is hope here. Someone may have Aquarius in their chart. And the dreamer, Pisces, Aquarius. Somebody may be a Pisces, Aquarius, Cusper. Somebody here may be literally a fucking star going after their dreams. Look at this shit. The dreamer and the star. It's like somebody here is dreaming, having hope. Somebody could be dreaming about somebody who is actually in the limelight or, you know, has some type of, what do you call it? Buns. Will you please? A new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take that leap. So somebody here is pushing their fears aside, taking that leap of faith. Somebody here is very hopeful. Somebody oh. may be a star or be seen in the limelight. Huh? Was I being cold? Yes. Can you please take her? Thank yeah. you. All right, three more for the outcome between Pisces and Leo. Somebody may be dreaming about having a fresh start with somebody who is in the limelight or in the public eye with the star card. There is hope here. There is healing. There is faith. There is going to be a new start. All right. Outcome between 555 five, five on the clock. There, what is the outcome here? Between Pisces and Leo. That's so crazy because earlier I seen 333. Three, three. I looked at the clock and earlier... Before I did uh, whatever reading I just did, Gemini, it was 444 when I started that reading. And I just seen 555 during your guys' reading. That's crazy. Okay. So there is going to be some type of change. Fives, you know, symbolize change. We also have well, A5 out here on the board. Show me the outcome, please, between Pisces and Leo. Four of Pentacles and the Magician. So Virgo, Gemini energy. Somebody here is an alchemist. Somebody here is very powerful. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So somebody here is going after their dreams. Somebody here had a vision, all right? Like the Magician. It's like the Magician has all the tools that they need to create whatever it is that they desire in the upright. Okay, this is somebody whose manifestations are coming to life, all right? Some, somebody's having a new start. They're very hopeful. All right, and then four pentacles over here on Leo's side. Um, managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give and receive money, time, or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things as black or white, and being charitable, and then the ace of pentacles. So somebody here may be saving up their money in order to have some, maybe somebody saving up. The ace of pentacles is a windfall of abundance, wise counsel, or good for fortune. An exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or a vehicle. So this Leo may be saving up for some type of move here because we did talk about relocating. This also talks about a home or a vehicle. And this talks about managing your money wisely, balancing the budget, manifesting something. Okay, with this magician right here in the middle, I feel like both of you guys are manifesting something. Leo may be manifesting something, you know, a value or a home or a car or a move or something to do with their finance sector and i feel like you're manifesting whatever your dreams are okay i feel like you're dealing with someone who's very passionate this person is definitely wondering 
they regret lying to you or you regret lying to them. Somebody here is starting to understand the connection. They feel the other person leaving them behind. They want to feel that way again. This person possibly, you know, may have been a player. They may have been playing mind games. They may have been spreading lies, rumors, gossip, and that's what they're worried about. They want to move things into calmer water. So, and I feel like this person is working on trying to like build something up, maybe even come towards you, work together, collaborate with you, give you something here. <laughs> As I say, give you something. We got the world. Maybe somebody wants to give you the world. Shit, I don't know. Okay, let's go. Let's close this reading out with a few Oracle cards. If this reading resonates, please let me know. Pisces, I feel like you're, you know, in the process of dropping a lot of burdens, you know, getting, I'm getting like releasing stress, letting go of stresses. I feel like you're very, you're in a very loving energy, very forgiving. You're the empress. Okay. You're very abundant. You could be dating, fun, flirting. All right. Let's see. Let me three cards, please, for Pisces dealing with the Leo. All you had to do was keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional string along in one night stand. See, that's what I was picking up with this energy over here. It's like, I feel like somebody may be rushing in like just to hit it and quit it and then go talk about it and shit. I don't know, but they really want to stay or they really want to like move. They really want to move something into calmer waters, but the way that they're going about it, they're doing it out of worry, out of fear. They're not doing it out of a healed space. I don't see any energy over here about healing. Okay. I'm just saying addiction. Somebody here may have addictions, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, restraint has a block. Um, and then seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hookup, temptation, third party interference. So somebody here may have like some type of codependency with like one night stands hooking up with this one night stand convention, string along one night stand energy keys on a ring. Somebody here may have many options or many keys on a ring. They may have many like, wow, keys on a ring. This person may have a key to many people's homes. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. That was... <sighs> Sorry, Lord, to use your name in vain, but Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> I feel like that was a trigger for someone. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting to date. So again, with this Knight of Cups, I feel like somebody here is, you know, in a very romantic, fun, flirting, wanting to date type energy. All right, let's do one more. And we get cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So somebody here has outdated thinking. They're living back in the dinosaur ages. Okay. Somebody here is still holding on to Id idolize. What is, what is the word? ID ideology. Or I, whatever the fuck. Okay. Somebody here is still holding on to like outdated thinking patterns. They're still living in, in 19. I'm not going to go there. Okay. This is your reading Pisces dealing with Leo. If it resonates, please let me know. Smash the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.